Hello and welcome here. After it was reported that James Gunn, the creative director of DC Studios, had discarded the script written by filmmaker Patty Jenkins, Wonder Woman 3 was shelved last year. Godot's reign as Wonder Woman appeared to come to an end after that action. The existence of Wonder Woman 3 has been revealed, with Godot asserting that she would work on its development with DC Studios co-CEOs Gunn and Peter Safran. However, the actress made no mention of the potential reappearance of original Wonder Woman series director Jenkins. Godot's Wonder Woman 3 can't possibly share any links to the dead universe, and there are a few key ways in which the film could exist amid Gunn's DC Universe reboot. Wonder Woman 3 can fit into the new DC Universe in three different ways. Number 1. Wonder Woman 3 can mirror Peacemaker Season 2. The outcome of John Cena's second season of Peacemaker might serve as inspiration for Gal Dot's comeback as Diana Prince in Wonder Woman 3. Long before being invited to lead DC Studios' creative team, Cena made his film debut as Peacemaker in Guns The Suicide Squad. The character later had his own HBO spin-off series, which made him one of DC's most well-liked anti-heroes. Peacemaker Season 2 was always going to survive the DCEU being rebooted into the new DC universe, given the character's surge in popularity and the fact that Gunn created the show. It will be some time before Peacemaker Season 2 is released because Gunn will begin production on it after finishing Superman Legacy in 2025, but at least the show's setting in the new DC universe has been made known. Prior to the release of Peacemaker Season 2, as Gunn indicated, members of the Peacemaker team will make an appearance in the Waller series on Max, which has been confirmed and will star Viola Davis again as Amanda Waller. The first season of the show has a strong connection to the previous DCEU, exploring Peacemaker's remorse for killing Rick Flagg in the Suicide Squad and even included a Justice League cameo with Jason Momoa and Ezra Miller in attendance. The second season of Peacemaker will continue the first while still being seen as a part of the new DC Universe, which might fit with Gal Dot's appearance in Wonder Woman 3. In the new DC Universe, which has already recast her Justice League co-star Henry Cavill and will do the same for Batman actor Ben Affleck, that could be the simplest way to get Godot back as Wonder Woman. The DC Universe will want to reduce the confusion caused by retaining Godot, and Wonder Woman the third of may be one way to achieve so by continuing the character's narrative while only altering the setting of the film. Number 2. Wonder Woman 3 could follow Aquaman 2's approach. In other direction Wonder Woman the third of may go is Aquaman in the Lost Kingdoms. Momoa will reprise his role as Arthur Curry in Aquaman in the Lost Kingdom, his second solo film as the King of the Seas, in December. Momoa previously starred in 2018's Aquaman, a surprise blockbuster that became DC's highest-grossing film ever with over $1 billion at the international box office. As the final film in the DCEU, the Aquaman sequel faces certain challenges. Shazam! Fury of the Gods and The Flash, the other two DCEU films produced by DC this year, were commercial failures at the box office. Although Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom's director James Wan said that he made adjustments to make it compatible with the DCU, the film is not directly related to the newly relaunched world. Nevertheless, the director's remarks also suggest that the movie is making an effort to set itself apart from the previous DCEU. The movie is standalone in that respect according to Wan, since the Aquaman universe is pretty far removed from the rest of the world. That direction may be taken in Wonder Woman 3. Despite maintaining the Wonder Woman actress from the DCEU, the film may focus only on concluding Diana's storyline rather than developing a plot that incorporates any elements from the larger DCEU. Even though the film appears to be outside of Gunn's DC universe, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom is making an attempt to distinguish itself from the previous DCEU, despite having been initially intended to be a part of it. Godot may return to the role in Wonder Woman 3 to complete her trilogy as Diana before the part is recast for the new DC Universe, according to Gunn. Even though Wonder Woman 3 isn't a part of director James Gunn's DC Universe, it has a potential of succeeding by adopting the same strategy as the Momoa movie, which saw Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom remove Batman to let go of the DCEU. Number 3. Wonder Woman 3 could be a totally new DCU series. Although Godot mentioned working on Wonder Woman 3 alongside Gunn and Safran, the actress may have just used the term Wonder Woman 3 to refer to her third solo feature as Diana in the DCEU, without necessarily implying that the movie will be a continuation of her two prior solo entries. The movie itself may be a relaunch of the figure, launching a new Wonder Woman series in the DC Universe and maintaining Godot in the part. The greatest strategy for the movie would be that, since it would enable Wonder Woman 3 to address the problems with Diana's narrative. Although Godot's tenure as Wonder Woman has received a lot of positive feedback, 
many have made it obvious that they don't quite like the way the character is portrayed in the films. The most frequent criticism is that Gunn's DC Universe might have given more attention to Wonder Woman's connections to Greek mythology. The DCU can open up a whole new realm of opportunities for Godot's rebooted Diana to explore in Wonder Woman 3 with the recently announced Paradise Lost Wonder Woman prequel series. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.